in the days before Art Basel, the world's most important art fair, it's in Zurich where connoisseurs and collectors start their journey. Galleries, museums and institutions attempt to lure audiences to their exhibitions. During a short period of time, you have the best quality visitors, like art public, walking through the museum. You have curators, collectors, journalists you will never normally have in that quantity in such a short period. Galleries and institutions like Hauser & Wirth, Migros Museum and Kunsthalle have special opening hours and special events ahead of Art Basel. This all makes sense as a time around Art Basel is the most important in the year. Zurich as such is an important place for art. Of course, the Zurich before Art Basel, I mean, it's a small country, we're one hour away from Basel. Um, this is sort of the most vibrant time in the year. In the early 2000s, Zurich was a major center for contemporary art. But as competition in emerging countries increases, it needs to catch up. I think Zurich at the moment where it was a bit spoiled by its uh, in incredible success and now they have, to, they have to bring the city back. We all have to bring the city uh, back and that's why we do what we do. We bring our forces together because it's one of the really few cities where you have such a density of museums, galleries, consul, auction houses, um, great artists, a young scene, two great art schools and a city very supportive of uh, all uh, the art uh, and culture. So I think the only thing that was missing was bringing things to knitting a, a great package and, and pushing it out to the world so that everybody knows what we do. And art spaces in Zurich highlight artists from all around the world. This exhibition shows Teresa Burger, an 84-year-old artist from Peru. This is her major exhibition. As she was working in the customs uh, most of her life, she didn't have the possibility um, to, to really show her works, but also because she was living under difficult circumstances as Peru uh, had a, a long time dictatorship. He's a Georgian, born Georgian artist and lives in Berlin. And he developed a, a work that I find very interesting because he's in between uh, east and west, and especially west and east and east and west. So he looks from both sides into both uh, cultures. And I think that's a very complex thing to do. And he does it in an extremely uh, interesting and convincing way. At House and Wirt, we have a, a long and uh, rich tradition and history of presenting exhibitions which actually um, further the scholarship of important 20th century artists. Of course, Jean Dubuffet, which we are currently showing here, is such an artist. Reason enough to visit Zurich before the hustle in Basel. Tanja König, CNN Money, Switzerland.